When I hear artificial intelligence, I usually think of this thanks to Hollywood, or this, when in reality, artificial intelligence tools are really designed to help us move from this to this. So in this video, I'm gonna go through five different artificial intelligence tools that are helpful for you as an event planner. Now that's whether you are a super experienced event planner and this is your full-time job, or whether you're a busy professional but you do events as part of your job because there's no one else on your team that's gonna do them. Uh, or maybe it's you're a small business entrepreneur and you're just getting your business off the ground. They are gonna help you increase your productivity and make your job easier at getting your event going. And make sure to stick around to the end because all five of these are very different and they give you different results. The first artificial intelligence tool is named Bard. Now when I say Bard, I don't mean the type that sits around a campfire and tells stories. There once was a dragon. In a land before time, not that kind of Bard. Bard is a Google artificial intelligence tool and it was just released to the public a few days ago. And Bard is an amazing one where if you type in a prompt, it will give you accurate results. Now, I actually went to Bard and I asked it to compare itself to ChatGPT. Now, I took that language and put it into a blog and put it in the link in the description below. And here's the reason why Bard is so great. So recently, I learned that ChatGPT in its current state only has data and information from before 2021. So that means it's two years out of date for any updated information and it does not have access to the internet even though it's built on the internet. Now, Bard even admits that ChatGPT is better for creating of writing, but Bard has access to the internet. And so it's actively looking through, through search results and it's actively looking at current and updated information. So Bard is gonna be a great place for us to go to if we need something that is factual and actual. And what I mean by that, it means it's actually accurate. The second AI app that we can use to help us more productive at planning events is called Gamma. It's gamma.app. Now I just tested this out and it is an incredibly useful tool if we want to create presentations from scratch. There are different templates that you can use. There are different looks that you can have. You can change the fonts. You can move things around once it's done, but it is a great place to begin a presentation with. Now, one of the cool things about Gamma is it uses AI so that if you type in a prompt and you give it what it's looking for, it will then give you back a list like this that you can then change and tweak and adjust. And then what it does is it uses an AI language model, a lot like a chat GPT, and it creates different bullet points and it creates different timelines and it creates different slides with different pieces of information based upon what you're asking it for. So if you wanna get a fresh look for your event and you wanna save time and not have to build something from scratch, you can let AI do it for you with Gamma. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna leave a link to all of these tools down in the description for this video. The third internet tool that uses AI and is super helpful is called Notion. Notion has an AI that's built in that you can ask to do things for you. And here's the thing is you don't have to go to a different AI tool, ask it, for information and then have to copy and paste it into your note-taking app because Notion can act like your note-taking app and it has the AI built in for you. Now it does have a certain number of times that you can type in and get the AI to help you before you have to pay for it, but it's incredibly helpful and it's customizable. Now if you wanna check out Notion for yourself and you wanna save time by not having to build an event planning template from scratch, you can just use mine. There's a link in the description. The fourth AI tool that I've got for you today is called otter.ai. Now Otter has actually been around for a little while, but it's awesome. Otter is a tool that can sit in Zoom meetings with you or Microsoft Teams meetings with you, and it can listen into your conversations, it'll transcribe it for you, and it can even pull out certain snippets. So if you don't wanna have to take your own notes while in meetings for planning your event, then you can check out otter.ai. The fifth and final tool that I have for you is called ChatGPT. Now you may have heard of it before and it is an incredibly powerful language model. But remember, here's the thing, is that it's not necessarily reading what's currently on the internet right now. So it is an incredibly powerful tool. It's got a ton of information that's loaded into it and it's incredibly creative. So here's what I recommend is using it not necessarily for accurate information unless you're going before 2021 because it's not necessarily the most up to date, but what you can do is you can use it to create creative titles, 
creative descriptions, creative captions for social media, creative scripts. Use it for creative writing for emails and different things. So be sure to check out ChatGPT to help you be more creative in your writing and make your events better. If you wanna use ChatGPT to be more productive and more efficient at writing event agendas, be sure to check out this video. In this video, I go strategically through how to use it, how to be specific with your prompts to create better event agendas and do it in a faster time period.